Hello YouTube, it's Ari Styles. Welcome to my channel. Please like this video and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. I would really enjoy having you guys come back to watch my videos and to just hear my input on some things that are going on uh, in the world today. Um, tonight, I want to go ahead and talk about the government shutdown and about the fact that it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, how could a wall cost over five billion to build? A wall. Okay, yeah, I understand that the wall is over 2,000 miles long, but there's no way in the world that it should cost over five billion dollars to build it. It's, it's just, I, I'll never understand that. I really won't. I'll never understand it. Um, with that five point, what, two billion dollars that President Trump is spending on his wall, it could feed a lot of people in Africa. It could, um, repair Haiti. It could help the people in Detroit with their water. It, it, it really could do a lot. It could put homeless people in a place to live. You know, it, it could do some of those things, I believe. Hmm. So, they don't really want to help people here in America. They don't want to uh, help the people in Africa very much. They don't want to help the poor children in India. They don't. They don't want to cure people of illnesses. But yet, President Trump and his affiliate want to spend five point two billion dollars. Yeah dollars on a wall and we got all these social issues going on in the world all these social issues and that's where they'd rather spend the money better yet they'd rather shut the government down to ensure that they get this mass amount of money to achieve their means it, it really is just a shame that hard-working people have to suffer it, it really is such a shame that middle-class people who were already working hard and struggling to get by as it was that they now have three times the stress on their backs Now that the government is going to be shut down and they have to go into their retirement plan and 401s to be able to get by. I mean, what do you think the state of America is going to be in if the police aren't being paid, if doctors aren't being paid, if teachers aren't being paid? What do you think the state of America is going to be in? Do you think people are just going to sit back and be cool without nothing? you think people are just going to be okay with almost getting by? They take a step forward to have to take 15 back because somebody's playing with their money. And no, I'm not inciting violence. I'm not saying that anybody should go out and commit a crime because they're upset with the situation. What I'm saying is that the situation is what's going to bring the crime. There has been evidence that has been shown and proven that when there is little to no income in a community, the crime rate skyrockets. That has already been proven. And they know this. 
So why sit up and take a chance? Why? And then what's what's so sad is that the government and President Trump is not even taking into consideration the children, the small innocent children that are going to be without food because their mothers can't get EBT benefits to feed them. And if the funding completely shuts down with a big possibility in March, they won't even have childcare. So they won't even be able to go to work if they don't have a reliable and trustworthy person to babysit their children. You know, it's just, there. there's a whole lot of things that can come out of this issue. This, this is a very broad topic and you can go so many different ways with this topic. You can, you can get into all different sorts of things to talk about, but right now I'm just focusing on um, the well-being of my black community because my black community was already struggling enough as it was to try and get by. And now, you know, they're all put in a position to have to fight. To have to fight for something to call theirs. It really breaks my heart that a group of people that have the nicest cars, have the nicest houses, have carefree lifestyles, have stress-free lifestyles, people that are wealthy can sit back and take from the poor and not see nothing wrong with it. That breaks my heart. That hurts me to know that people are going to be suffering because somebody else's greed, because of somebody else's control, because of somebody else's pride. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand such a nation. I don't understand the powers that be. And no, I don't think I'm high and mighty. I don't think I'm high and mighty at all. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I'm better than President Trump. But I think I know better. I think I have a heart for people. I think that I am a humanitarian. I think that I am not afraid to speak up on the issues that need to be spoken up about. That's what I think. And that's what I believe in my heart. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't, I don't care what President Trump thinks. I don't care what the Republicans think. I think that this is a bad decision. And I don't think that very many people out here in America, especially the people in my community, are against what I'm saying. I think that this is a very bad idea because we don't we don't really know what his purpose is for building this wall. We don't know if we're being misled and lied to. We don't know if that once he gets this wall built, we don't know if if the government is going to turn around and tell us, well, Hey, due to uh, our massive funding with President Trump's wall, we are now going into a stock market crash. And we are not able to fund or assist the public any longer. We don't know. You guys, we, we don't know what's going to come out of this. We don't. We don't know what to expect. And honestly, I don't understand why he can't build his own dang on wall. 
He got all them businesses. He got over 25 businesses. Why don't he take some of that money in his fat Swiss bank account and go build his own wall? Since he wanted so bad. Why? Why are you making the hard working Americans pay for your wall, President Trump? Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to make Americans suffer? That's my question. Yeah, I understand that they talked about you. They made fun of you. They drug you through the mud. And no, I'm not, I'm not saying that that was right. Nothing that anybody does to hurt another person is right. But if, if this is your way to, to get back at the Americans that hate you so much, it ain't the way. That's that's the coldest way to get back at them. If if that's what you're trying to do, President Trump. But you know, I hope and pray that our Creator softens your heart and gives you an understanding of what it's like to be from the other side and to be from the other side of the crosswalk or the other side of the railroad tracks. Not the other side of Los Angeles, called Hollywood, the other side. I really hope and pray that you take all of those things into consideration. Because you ain't doing nothing but making it dangerous for the hard working people, if you catch on to what I'm saying. People ain't going to sit back and not have nothing. So... If you want America to be a, a, a stable country, please don't shut the government down. Please don't do it. Please reconsider what you are thinking about doing. Please, for the sake of our country, for the sake of humanity, please think about what it is that you're doing. Thank you, President Trump. And thank you, YouTubers, for watching my video. That's all I had to say. I just wanted to rant and get that out. So, yeah, you guys like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Let me know what y'all think about this shutdown. And, you know, let me know what y'all think uh, could be the outcome or what it could cause. Let me know. Bye-bye.